as you can tell by my accent, I never had an accent until I left New England. And uh, Jimmy asked me to speak here some years back when, uh, when we were doing it before. And uh, I get up and I spoke for about an hour and a half or two hours or whatever it was. And then right after being on from the way I'm from Rhode Island, you guys are in Rhode Island, you can cop with those in Rhode Island so fucking small. Right? So the guy after me was Rick Trickett, the line coach now at Auburn. Now Rick's from the deep south. Mike Berry, who's the line coach at USC, was sitting out there, and he said, you know, for four hours, I didn't understand a single fucking word you guys were talking about between you and Trickett. And I was sitting there, and I didn't understand shit for four hours. So, if sometimes we say something you don't understand because of the accent or something, just get the guy on the side and ask him what he's talking about a little bit. Okay, the next guy here, Howard Mudd. Howard, former player in the league, okay? One of the few former players that can coach, okay? He, uh, he is an all-pro, he was an all-pro guy, with the San Francisco 49ers, or LT24, was a player in the league for a number of years. He's been a coach in this league for 24 years as a line coach in the National Football League. Now, this is a tree. He is one of the original Mushrooms, the founder of the Mushroom Society. He is like the grandfather. I'm like a stepchild. Jimmy's kind of in the middle, and Howard and, 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 and Hannah are like the grandfathers of this stuff. So, without further bullshit, this is Howard Mudd, who's the line coach from the Seattle Seahawks. He's just about as full of shit as a bunch of other people in this room. Uh, I'm, come, I'm gonna, not going to use that thing. And I was sitting over there, and uh, when Mike was talking, and I can't emphasize enough what he emphasized, which is fundamental, there aren't any goddamn secrets to this thing. All it is is a bunch of hard work, and people that are fundamental people in our league, if you watch them play, there's something uniform about what they do, the, the people up front. There's a bunch of other people that are a bunch of helter-skelter stuff that might have a bunch of schemes, but it doesn't look uniform. And you win with fundamentals, schemes aren't going to do shit for you. So those things that you've learned here, the other part of this part that I'm, that I'm going to emphasize to you is that make it your, make it your own. Don't be a, a textbook football coach, which you, you hear something said here, you write it down, you go say it. Write it down, now think about it, regurgitate, I mean, and, and process the thing. It may come out in the same words, but make sure that it registered in your mind that you're not just repeating something that you heard here. Mike was talking about Jimmy inventing some drills. Well, we've all invented some drills of some kind. Mike's invented drills. He comes along and says, geez, I like this, I got this problem. So he starts to invent a drill or one of it, you know, and it might not work, but it might work. So go invent your own stuff, too. I mean, it isn't just the absolute of something that one of us set up here. We don't have the answers. I don't have, I just know some stuff that works and some shit that don't work, and sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Um, and the last thing I'm going to tell you is that uh, it's very, to me, for me, it's very flattering to be here and it's very impressive that this many people are, will assemble themselves to, to learn and become better. And that's very impressive and I think uh, uh, you're, I'm very flattered to be part of this. Um, there's, uh, there's a lot of different ways to do things. I happen to be a drop step guy. Mike's a lead step guy. I happen to take two steps when I set. Mike takes one step when he sets. I happen to do this, and, and I'm not just saying Mike. I just happen to listen to Mike. Uh, Mac does something some way. I do something some way. There's a lot of things that you can learn here. Pick something out that you like. There isn't any magic way to do it. The most important thing is uniformity. Keep repeating the same thing over and over and over again. And when you get tired of doing it, do it one more time, just to make goddamn sure that you're not doing it wrong. And that's, I can't emphasize that enough. Okay, what I'm about is, I'm about talking about the inside zone play, okay? And basically what I'm going to do is, I'm going to 
I'm going to do this a couple. Uh, I got lots of notes. I got to share everything I know. I wrote it down this morning. Uh, it took me it took me two hours to write one page, but and I'm going to sit on my ass to not to that because I'm going to put this stuff down here. Uh, let's see now, there's something else I was looking for up here. You got it. Right there. Well, I got it. Fine. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just give you a basic idea of what the what, what my concept or my idea of the zone play is in, a, in an outline form. I'm going to show you the play. Then I'm going to come back and show you the techniques that go along with it. I might say, well, there's a jump cut. There's a uh, there's an overlap. There's a a drop step, there's a cutoff, that was a shitty cutoff, blah, 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 as we go through the film. But I'll come back and get it. Don't worry about that. I'll come back and get it. Uh, is Coach Matter still here? No, okay, he's not here, so I can't. Okay. All right. Well, okay. Well, that's just miserable, well, that's <coughs> pretty good. Everything I know is I'm kind of on that page. Uh, the principles of the inside zone, uh, if you were to watch over the years stuff that, that, that I'm involved in and the running game that I do, uh, I don't do very many things. And I sell the players, I'm going to talk to you like I'm talking to players. Don't do very many things, let's do a few things and do them extraordinarily well. Let's know everything that you got to know about what you got in, about that play and do it better than that guy that's across from you and when he knows what you're going to run. And that isn't novel. I mean, uh, Vince Lombardi or probably General Nayland or something like that. In fact, I got a drill that came from Nayland. Uh, you guys can run here so we'll over that guy. Okay, so uh, the principle is the inside zone. Pace, uh, I did say a uh, few things do them extraordinarily well. I've already said one more time. I don't do very many things, but I can tell you one thing I know how to do, and that's to run this play, at least for me. I can run at the open side, the closed side, and then. <coughs> when that thing doesn't work, rather than saying, well, they stopped it. Bullshit. Go run it again and make sure it wasn't you that didn't mess it up instead of them that stopped you. And whatever your play is, but this happens to be that play, and then just keep repeating the same thing over and over and do it one more time, do it one more time. Okay, uh, it's a patience play, it's a distortion play. Uh, you know, it's uh, the beginning of the footwork of the quarterback, the ball carriers, and all the blockers is the same. I got a picture in my office where, and we're not pissing on a fire hydrant uh, against uh, somebody, I don't know, don't make a difference. But the left tackle's got it, the left guard, the, the quarterback, and then the runner all got their foot all headed in the same place. Okay, so the idea of this thing is, and like I said, I wasn't pissing on a fire hydrant, I'm just, that's, I, that comes up a little later. It does, that's part of one of my coaching. But uh, what we're doing, we're headed, everybody's headed for a certain spot. Get your head in the right place, walk here, you heading for that place, blockers, you cover those guys up, and then let the play distort the defense and then run where they're not. Okay? Uh, I learned something from a guy, a lot of you in this room, a lot of young faces don't even know who this guy is, but there's some older gray haired guys that know who John David Crow is. He's got one of those trophies that you know, the, the high school trophy, trophies, and I, he was a teammate of mine, and then we, we, uh, we, we coached together, and in my, this was early in my development as a coach, and I said, John, what, yeah, I blocked for you, and all that stuff, I said, what are you looking at? What are you looking at? I, you know, now, I bet you here in this room, most people will say, well, we're going to cut off your block. Okay, well, in an option-type running play, the ball carrier, the guy that's got the ball in his hand, he don't look at the guy, he don't look at your ass, he looks at the guy you're blocking, because those are the, this is what he told me, so I believe him, so that's what I sell to you guys from, from that point on, is that uh, I'm gonna look at that somebody who's gonna hit me. <laughs> I'm gonna find out who's gonna hit me, and then if you happen to be in his way, then it'll, everything will be pretty good, because I get to go to work, he's not. So this is all about us covering those guys up, uh, you block them on the angle, you find them on, uh, you cover them up with, uh, with a proper target, 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 get your head in the right place, get your head in the right place, always have your head in the right place. Push and pester the guy, okay, 
and let the ball carrier, oh, I did, I said that, let the ball carrier move them. Let the ball carrier move them for you. This whole thing has to do with that angle of departure out of your stance. Whether you're the runner, the quarterback, the left tackle, the right tackle, I mean, whoever that might be. Okay, now, ball carrier, you stand the course and stretch the front. You're heading for the inside leg of the tackle. Okay, the ball carrier, that's a wide stretch, as you'll see in this tape. That means you're going to take a drop step, crossover, plant. It's a J step. It's a J. If you could draw an upside down J, that's what it would look like. You're headed for the inside leg of the tackle. Okay. Uh, read the man the tackle's blocking. Okay. And feel the adjacent defenders, whether they're linebackers or down linemen or whoever that might be. If you're running at the tight end side, you're running at the tight. You're running at the guy. And the tackle's covered, the guard's, and the tight end's covered, you're running at the tackle, looking at the defensive end. That guy on that tight end, as he pinches in, man, you might bounce into the sideline just like that. Okay? Patience. Okay, I do talk a lot about ball carrier because that guy's important to this thing too. Ball carrier. Stay on your course and stretch the front. The ball carrier is responsible for moving the defenders. Okay, so ball carrier, you go stay on your stay on your course. Okay, it's not the real important. It's not speed to the hole. It's speed through the hole. Be patient. All right. Uh, stay on course. Move the defenders. I already said that. Uh, keep these guys blocked by staying on course and make the decision at the heels of the defender. Now, does that sound familiar? Might be. So if we say it twice, maybe. Two and two equals a good thought. Uh, you guys don't have any fucking sense of humor at all. Maybe I'm not funny. Uh, okay. This part right here. If you can, for the ball carrier, this guy right here is not, spe is not speed to the hole, speed through the hole. And this one right here, this, this red stuff here is real important. Obviously, because I made it red. I didn't run out of, out of blue ink. Uh, the best cut is no cut. Actually, Number three it should be number one. I just I forgot. <laughs> so number three is really number one. Patience to the hole. I mean, if you're running up here like this, and you're not running full speed. You got something left. You see a crack, burst. Go through it. Don't mess around. Don't look for big things. The guy that's an old friend of mine that happens to be dead now. Uh, his name is Andy McDonald, coach at Michigan State. And I worked with him in Seattle the first time I was there, and. And he, he always told the ball carriers, think of first downs, not touchdowns. Make, make downs first, don't make touchdowns. Think of first downs, not touchdowns. Okay, so you know, simply decide there's a, there's a crack, there's a soft spot, boom, run through it. Okay, uh, okay slow down. You're running under control anyway.